Okay, Nomad just released their little baby base station mini. Let's talk about it. Behold the Nomad Base Station Mini. Mind you, this was sent out to me for review, but this won't affect my review in any way, shape, or form. Everything you gotta hear here will be my own personal opinion. That being said, inside the box, you're gonna get the Base Station Mini, a very nice USB-C to USB-C cable, which is extra thick. And that's basically all you're gonna get inside the box. Keeping it simple and clean for the environment. Now, the Base Station Mini is a solid square of aluminum with padded leather on the charging section to protect your devices. The sheer solid weight of it will keep it from sliding around on the table, aided by the rubber feet you can find on the bottom. And the front is an LED, which will let you know when your device is charged. And on the back is the USB-C power input as well as what I believe to be the ambient light sensor Which will dim the LED in the front at night to set up You just plug it in but you may have noticed that you don't get a power adapter with this charger If you don't have the right USB-C power adapter lying around luckily Nomad has got you covered with their own 20 watt USB-C power adapter Which normally costs $18.95, but if you bundle it with the base station mini, it'll only cost you $13.95 This will then give you 10 watts of wireless charging if you want 15 watts of wireless charging You're gonna have to get the really big boy Nomad's 20 watt power adapter is significantly smaller and honestly 10 watts of wireless charging is enough for most people who will be charging overnight anyway. With everything set up, most of us will be likely charging things like AirPods on this. And to no one's surprise, it works. And if you're not sure, the front LED will light up if things are charging on it. By the way, the case I'm using on my AirPods are also made by Nomad, which is made with Horween leather, famous for its ability to age and develop a nice patina. This case in particular also has a little light pipe in the LED hole to allow the charging LED to shine through the case easily, which is a nice touch. Back on the base station mini, if you're afraid that it's too small for your phone, here is my iPhone 12 Pro Max on it. And this is currently my main wireless charger. Now those of you with keen eyes may have noticed that I have an Apple Watch charging dock on my base station mini and this is actually an optional attachment that isn't designed for this base station mini in particular. It's actually designed for the base station pro but you know it fits it sits. In that box you get the Apple Watch mount and rubber rest for each Apple Watch size to sit on. The one on the mount itself is the 44 millimeter. Build wise the mount is all metal aside from the rubber watch rest and the rubber ring inside the charger cutout that grips the charger. The bottom is lined with a microfiber on the side and a 3M sticky pad for attachment. For the base station mini I recommend attaching the mount to the left corner with the cable plugged in as a guide so you don't accidentally block the port. Now the fit doesn't exactly look perfect, but that's only if you look at it from the side. It honestly looks pretty good from every other angle. Now there is one issue to attaching the dock here on the base station mini, and it's that it's likely going to block the little light sensor in the back. So the LED in the front will always be in its night dimmed mode, but personally that's sort of a non-issue because even during the day you can still tell it's on. It just won't be as bright. Now with the Apple Watch charger set in, the base station mini becomes a more complete package for the essentials, whether you're just charging just your accessories or just your daily watch and main phone. Now, if you're looking to charge them all at the same time, you're going to need to step it up to the larger base station or base station pro. Now, if you're like me and you just need the bare essentials, then the base station mini with the Apple watch mount on top of it should be just enough for you. If you do want to purchase either of these items currently, the base station mini sits at around like 60 ish bucks. And if you want this, you know, optional charge mount that isn't necessarily designed for it, but works anyway, it'll be an extra 15 bucks if you do want that. And if you want either of these items, I'm gonna leave some links in the description for you to purchase from, which are affiliate links, which I will get a slight kickback to help, you know, run this channel. I'll also leave links to anything else I featured in this video, whether it's a little charging adapter, as well as any of the cases I've used for like my AirPods or my um, iPhone. Because the case on my phone is also made by Nomad, and I also have like a review on this case, which I guess I'll link in the corner over there. Anyway, that's pretty much all I have for today. So if this video did help you out, do leave me a like and subscribe for more content. If you want to see more, hit the notification bell so you know when I'm going to post next. Also, remember, I'm also on Twitch these days. I pop up kind of randomly, but if you want to follow me there and watch me play games and chat in the chat, do remember to press the, uh, I'll leave a link in the description to my you know, Twitch. So there's that. That being said, I'll see you guys next time and let's see what we got.